yeah, I don't know if obsession is quite the right word, but I mean, but it always seemed a mysterious, almost magical thing, like, because you've got two hands and three objects, it seemed like there was, you know, some sort of impossible aspect to it. I'm Brian Dubé, and I'm 58 years old, born in uh, 1951. Right now we're in our off my office at 520 Broadway on the third floor where we have a you know my manufacturing and you know retail showroom and offices all in one location. When I started and for a long time, if you wanted to find juggling equipment, you would probably have to find somebody that, that either juggled or knew a juggler, and through word of mouth, you know, you'd find out who the vendors were. Um, most roads led to me and just maybe one or two other people. The thing now with the internet is, you know. Anybody can set up a website and compete and have immediate visibility. Well, the internet has caused quite a, a renaissance, I think, in the art of juggling. My name is Kyle Peterson, and I'm 25 years old. He had come in, he said, since he was very young on a regular basis, and he said every time that he came in, uh, people would ask him questions thinking that he worked here. The skill level has just gone up dramatically. Uh, with the advent of the internet, uh, which is really an excellent teaching tool because people are able to see what others are doing and imitate it. Kyle is younger and seemed to be, you know, familiar with the, you know, the internet and computer uh, world. And so we thought that we'd, uh, if he was amenable to working on things like social networking while he was here on the couple days that he'd come in, that, uh, you know, he'd keep himself busy doing that. So basically that's what he does. This is the meeting of uh, Jugglers Anonymous, the Pratt chapter. We're a group of jugglers, some of which are Pratt students and some of which aren't, but we're all united by one thing, is we love throwing things in the air and catching them. There's certainly more people juggling than there used to be, but now there's a lot more competition. And I would say there's probably less business for every vendor than there used to be. You know, we all respect what each other does and everyone brings their own thing to the table. And even if you're not the best club juggler, you have something else to offer and everyone respects everyone else for their skills and their abilities and all their talents. So it's really kind of a beautiful thing to belong to. Basically, we would never survive with the, the serious jugglers, mostly, you know, just the amateur hobbyists, um, you know, and, and they, of course, they do come and go. Um, we have sold to a lot of professional jugglers, most of the ones that people might have heard of, you know, like, you know, Michael Motion, Cirque du Soleil, Big Apple Circus, and Penn and & Teller, and again, you know, the amount of business that people of that nature do in a year is really not very significant. A lot of people go to church, and that's where they have a sense of community. Well, I come here because this is where my people are.